Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today what I wanted to go ahead and do is kind of make a video explaining the advantages of basically playing Crucible at the start of your character creation. Now, this is of course just my opinion and you don't ever have to do this. And Crucible is kind of like an added DLC that you do have to buy. So if you don't want to do this, you literally don't have to. Just need some, some pros and cons. So, step one is we are going to create a new character really fast. <clears throat> and it's important that when you're entering Crucible, you want to enter Crucible with a character that does not have any devotion points. And the reason why you don't want to have any devotion points is because the more devotion points you have while starting Crucible, the longer it's going to take for you to accumulate devotion points. And that's the main purpose of this is to get devotion points. Um, so step one, we're just going to go ahead and loot this corpse. And we're just going to hit, well, actually, personally, there we go. Let's go ahead and ready to begin. And we're actually just going to suicide our character right now. The reason why you want to suicide your character is because it, it tags you as basically completing round one. And that actually levels you up to level two. And you can actually go in and get a bunch of loot. You don't have to do this. Again, it just saves you a little bit of time. Um, you could very easily just go do it somewhere else. Like you could go to the campaign and do it. And no, you cannot do this method to level 100 because you'll get like literally zero XP. This is just like for level one. So we're going to go over here and just grab, I guess realistically, like anything we'd like from here. It's fine. And now the other cool thing that you can do is you can actually just hit start and you can redo and you can get a crucible layout that you would like personally. Um, there's a bunch of different crucible layouts. I swear if I crash right here, I'm restarting this video. She's just staring at me with those eyes, man. She looks Russian, actually. Okay, we're good. Um, ideally, like, I personally like this, like, square crucible layout. Uh, it doesn't really matter that much. We're just going to stick with this one for the sake of the video. Now, the reason why you ideally want to be level 2 first is just so you can pick your class. So I'm going to make a Death Knight, which is a Necromancer Soldier. So we're just going to start with Necro. And I'm going to get out my Necro Minions. And I'm going to put on my new gear. I would recommend having a ranged weapon for this just because it makes it a lot easier at the beginning. And we're just going to hit start. Now, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you get to round 10. And after you get to round 10, you're going to clear round 10. And every 10 points in Crucible is a checkpoint. But at the checkpoint, you're going to say, hey, dude, I'm done. I want my reward. So by doing that, I think you get three devotion points, or sorry, three crucible points or whatever they're called here, your tributes. And it takes three tributes to get one devotion point at the beginning of the game. So I'd recommend doing this five times. So you're going to run through crucible five times to get five early devotions. Now, again, you don't ever have to do this if you don't want to. It just saves you a bit of time later on in some ease. Um, if you like are like me and don't want to look up all the diff like the devotion shrine locations and sometimes the uh, the rewards are not the rewards but the requirements of the devotions can be uh, a bit taxing in the later difficulties I feel like these skellies are like really retarded right now I want a range one. Oh, I actually got a range one. Nice. Now, doing Crucible, um, there's not really too much out of Crucible in the leveling experiences of the game. Crucible, in my opinion, is mainly used for like end game stuff. Um, Crucible is the best place to farm legendaries and uh, maybe even blueprints too. I don't know if Treasure Trove is better than that. You do of course need a character that can efficiently clear Crucible on Gladiator and or the difficulty right before Gladiator. I don't really think it's too valuable on normal. Of course, if you're progressing a character, there's nothing wrong with doing it. Okay, 
this dude over here. I don't like those little invisible guys, man. They're like super feels bad, man. Get them, skellies! Also, there is a big downside if you do like pure Crucible, which is what I did with one of my uh, characters. If you decide to only play Crucible, which is kind of tedious, but if some people like doing it, you're more than welcome to do it. You will not have like any augments on your gear, which like kind of nerfs your character like quite a bit because you have no reputation. Um, I don't think you get any reputation out of here at least, and you don't actually progress your storyline at all. So uh, that's one thing to take into account as well. Normally you'll have like a boss here, but I guess because I'm low level I just have like a little shambler. But this guy will normally be like a like a boss version of a shambler. So this should ding us to 8? 6, just kidding. And then we're going to talk to this dude and say I wish to collect my reward. That'll ding us to level 8. So now we have 3 tributes. So there's the this dude right here. You say I wish to prove my devotion and then you trade in three tributes for a devotion point. Now you can do that five times at the beginning, which would give you effectively five devotions. And after that, I think it bumps from three to five tributes. Uh, you can still do that too. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I don't know if it's worth getting really more than 10 tributes past here, because it is just kind of tedious. Uh, and then of course you can get your basic gear from here, uh, which will just help you clear Crucible faster. And you'll have a, a head start on the campaign when you start, because you'll be like level 10 or something or level like 12. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. Just giving you guys a little head start if you wanted to jumpstart your character with Crucible. I uh, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. I personally recommend after clearing this like two times, just turn off your loot filter to like toggle only greens so you don't have to worry about the yellows anymore either. But that's entirely up to you. Anyway, if you liked the video, remember you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox where you'll see me do stuff like this pretty much every day. <laughs> but that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.